Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Veltman. I'm the Chief of Infectious Diseases here at Loma Linda University Health, and I'm here to answer your questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. So I've been asked why you should get the COVID-19 vaccine. And I'll tell you why I am planning on getting the COVID-19 vaccine. And it's because we cannot predict who's going to die or have very severe lasting consequences from this horrible illness. We also are increasingly seeing that a large number of people, uh, including some of my family members, are having very lasting side effects from having this horrible illness, chronic fatigue syndrome, damage to their lungs, which is maybe irreversible, we don't know yet, and also damage to their blood vessels, which increases their risk for blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. So I'm getting the vaccine because I don't want to have any of those severe complications or death, and I don't want to pass the virus to any of my loved ones who could possibly also be harmed by this virus. What we are seeing with the safety studies are uh, for the most part, mild side effects. Individuals are complaining of a sore arm, fever, fatigue. Uh, these are all reported at less than 10% of the individuals receiving the vaccine. And I want to reassure you, if you do get the vaccine and feel some of these side effects, that's a good thing. It means that your immune system is mounting a response to this vaccination, which is what you want. So if you do experience a side effect, I want you to take joy in that and, and think this is working for me. The vaccine is looking to be about 90 to 95 percent effective depending on what company you're looking at, which is great. When we're talking about the vaccine, I do feel it's important to disclose the fact that I am a study participant in the Moderna vaccine study. So I can speak as a study participant and say that I, I have seen that the study has been conducted in a very thorough and complete manner, and I have full confidence in the results that are now being brought to the public eye. When will the vaccine become available? According to the California Department of Public Health, all healthcare workers should have access to the vaccine before the end of January 2021, which is so exciting. Yay! The federal government and the state governments have been devising a priority system that they're planning to put into place to um, roll out the vaccine. Thank you.